Hi folks, John Mark here with Catalyst Connect. This video is going to go over a typical lead workflow in Zoho CRM. So let's go ahead and start with a new lead. I'm gonna go ahead and just clone this existing lead that we have. And I'll go ahead and rename Tony to George. Now, when I click save, we have what's called a workflow rule that's gonna trigger a series of actions within the system. So uh, immediately what you can see here is on the left-hand side, we have a few associations being made. In a previous video, we spoke about the automation that would take the UTM parameter and add this lead to that existing marketing campaign for accurate tracking. We also had an immediate task scheduled to qualify and curate this lead. And here we can see that an email went out immediately to this lead, uh, thanking them for contacting us. And we can see here that the status of this email was sent. Now, when this particular person were to open that email, the status would change to open. And if there was a link in that email, that link would be marked as clicked if they clicked on it. This way we can actually gauge uh, what our interactions are uh, with that specific lead. Now, uh, there are a few different ways that we can set up all of this automation that takes place. And there was a lot that was going on in the background, including uh, assigning this uh, particular lead to the relevant owner. So let's start there. When a new lead comes into Zoho, we can use what are called lead assignment rules to route this lead to a specific user or group. We do that by going under automation, clicking on assignment rules, and here we can actually create assignment rules for multiple modules. We have a default one to assign our leads to our marketing director. So we have this rule here for all records. In this case, uh, we want to assign them to the specific user. Now we can uh, create uh, much more refined conditions by matching certain product times or service lines to specific users, uh, roles or groups and then we can round robin leads to users in that group, as well as checking if they are available and signed into the system before we uh, give them that lead. So that at least gets that lead in the right ownership and to the appropriate person in the system. The next thing we wanna do is schedule a series of follow-up activities. Now, ideally that person would call the lead and book the appointment or qualify them immediately to hand over to sales. But more often than not, we're going to need to have some follow-up activities to qualify that lead. Now that is done under the workflow rules section in Zoho, and it can also be configured in Zoho Blueprint, which we'll address in another video. So I'm gonna show you what our recommended uh, workflow is within the workflow rules in Zoho CRM. So you can see here that I have filtered down our workflow rules to the lead module, and I have this workflow rule called lead qualification and curation drip. Now, uh, the workflow rules allow you to have multiple conditions and uh, certain actions that can be triggered based on that condition. So I've written a basic rule here that says that when a lead is created and the interested product is empty and the lead status is new lead, qualified needs appointment or qualifying, that I want the following actions to take place. In this case, what we recommend is a task to qualify and curate the lead, an initial email acknowledgement saying thank you for contacting us. Now, we also have some scheduled actions that will take place. Uh, of course, the objective is for our marketing department to immediately get a hold of that lead to book an appointment, at which point they would convert that lead and hand it over to the sales department. But if after one day in this case, uh, they have not able, been able to schedule the appointment, we're gonna have our uh, email drip sequence start. In this case, we're sending an introduction to Catalyst Connect. Uh, the next day, we're going to do an intro to Zoho. And then uh, if after 15 days of us following up on the specific lead, it gets marked as a nurture if we aren't able to book that appointment. At that point in time, that's where Zoho Campaigns picks up and uh, does a drip email sequence with everyone else that's in a nurture status, and they get a standard newsletter or whatever uh, drip is relevant at that time. Now you can see that we actually have an additional condition here. If a new lead comes in and they are interested in a specific product, 
in this case, we don't want to have them follow this generic sequence. We may want to have a far more curated follow-up specific to that product. So the immediate email that goes out is a thanks for installing Catalyst Connect chat and next action items within that email. And this is how you can create more specific follow-ups by product or business division. So these workflow rules can be very flexible in helping you really manage all of your automation in one place. Uh, we find that this is the most intuitive way to organize your follow-up activities. And we can even use some uh, great AI like uh, Zia in this case is actually choosing when to send the email based on open times of previous emails that have been sent. And this way we can uh, get better interaction rates with our leads. So from a user's perspective, uh, when they go into the CRM, uh, they will have a list of their uh, tasks that are uh, due that day. They'll also be able to dive into a specific lead record and uh, see exactly what has gone on with that particular lead. So here we are back at George Stark. Again, we can see the emails that were sent. If we wanna take a look at upcoming actions, we can click on this timeline and this will actually show you a complete history of what has happened with this lead. So here we can see it was created. We can see all of the functions and web hooks and emails that were sent to this person. And here we can see the three scheduled actions that are due to take place, provided that the conditions are still met when those triggers are uh, met here in the system. So this is how sales reps can really get a good understanding of what's going on. And then of course, uh, use the social features here to uh, connect with uh, uh, George Stark uh, via uh, Twitter, Facebook, and associate their profiles here to the CRM. And then any ongoing notes that we may have uh, can be put in over here. Uh, additionally, attachments, and uh, of course, if we've invited them to events uh, through a Zoho meeting, they would show up over here. Any support tickets are related as well. Uh, visit a history through Zoho Sales IQ, any surveys, etc. So Zoho, at the end of the day, gives you this uh, complete 360 degree view of what's going on with a specific lead and some uh, fantastic tools to further help enrich this data that we're generating as well. Uh, one of my favorite features is the data enrichment tool uh, that we recommend clients add. And in this case, what it does is take a look at the email address or domain, finds the relevant company, and then offers uh, that data enrichment. So you can append this data to the lead record uh, to uh, have uh, your data sets as complete as possible. Uh, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next video to discuss blueprints. Cheers.